financial group. Sir, thank you as well for staying up so late and coming and joining us. It's an honour to be here. Oh, well, we've, the honour's all ours, sir, to have you here. Thank this, you. Can, I be, can I just put a blunt question? Yes, please do. Is everybody here fooling themselves? And the reality is the geopolitical situation means what China wants, China's going to get. China can switch off the power, it can cut the exports, it can bring this economy to a standstill. Well, uh, uh, 30 years ago, we've been uh, in that kind of a situation when uh, we allied ourselves with the Soviet Union and the Soviet bloc, and uh, there was no connection to China at all. So uh, we've been through that, and we've survived, and uh, the wolves always survive. And it's not just one wolf, it's a pack of wolves. So uh, 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 symbolically speaking, you know, the, it's a versatility, versatility of the animal that uh, made me think of uh, uh, a Mongolian economy as a wolf, you know, because the bears go into hibernation, the dragons disappear, and then uh, they have their millennia. And uh, China is going now into a stagflation, and, uh, but uh, we will uh, prevail, I believe. So uh, the other great thing, in a sense, the sort of things that, because you're not fin because you're not selling finished durables or manufactured or consumer goods, exactly, you will. You, China's still going to need an element of copper. It's still going to need an element of coal yes. uh, and, and, and a resource base. Where do you see the diversification in this economy? And that's exactly to the point. You know, uh, we don't have cheap labor. We don't have uh, the seaports. The, 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 we cannot become the huge logistical center. We should focus on maybe uh, uh, helping becoming a transit hub. Maybe we should go, uh, uh, you know, focus on the green energy and become the Asia super grid using all of our solar and uh, wind energy. And then, of course, there is uranium that uh, we're looking at. There is uh, plenty of coal and uh, um, Russia, you know. Uh, the, the, the war that they instigated in Ukraine will stop one day. And then uh, how do we manage to become the financial hub for Central Asia? You know? We're uh, going to be talking to the head of the stock exchange in just a moment. I'm not sure you can become the financial hub when you have other countries like Kazakhstan, mm -hmm. uh, who are larger in a sense, but they also have the same ambition. Mm -hmm. So... But, but arguably they have a higher rate of corruption, for example, than you would have uh, here in Mongolia. So how important is it to root out corruption and how much more work is there to do? Well, uh, the prime minister's uh, uh, efforts now uh, focusing on corruption, I think, uh, is, is widely uh, uh, held uh, uh, in Mongolia and also uh, amongst the ordinary people and internationally. And it's producing visible results. You know, uh, the businesses are coming back. We have this almost euphoric sense coming back when Mongolia produced that, a, a, a magnificent growth of 17.4% uh, back in 2011 under Bad Paul's leadership. Uh, I, I, I sense the same, uh, just the fact that we're standing here with you, is, uh, 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 you know, uh, with CNN. Uh, but you have to keep the young people here. We do, yeah. You have to have the opportunities. Yeah. You have to have the, uh, the skill set. Exactly on a small economy with a low tax base and pretty horrible traffic. Yeah, back in 2011, uh, we had this tide of people, uh, young people coming back. Now we have, uh, see, of course, lots of people going to work for Oyotogo, Rio Tinto globally, going working for Google. And they ca do come back when the things uh, are, are, are positive again. So the economy produced already 7% growth in the first half of this year. So uh, it will start attracting attention of the media, then, of course, the young wolves, the young Mongols, will be coming back in, in packs to uh, staff the positions here because multinational companies... You're very optimistic. I am. I am I'm an eternal optimist. I mean, you also, of course, are a member of the party of the, uh, of the government, but, but, but you believe that the future... People like me arrive here with a dose of cynicism and it, say, exactly. and see Russia, China, landlocked, it's all misery, turn off the lights and go home. Yep, but uh, you uh, uh, yourself have this cheese, and peop Switzerland produces cheese, and they've been neutral, they've been landlocked, and they've avoided wars, and they managed to become a financial center. You know, have all that money oh, from no. China and Russia come here, because they have the different systems, and people there, the entrepreneurs who are people who accumulate the wealth, will choose Mongolia to... You can't resist these, can you? Well. And my Mongol. Thank you. He took one, and I guarantee you, before he leaves, he'll have another one. Thank you, Vogue. <laughs>
No contest. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you very much, sir. Thank, Thank you very much.